One of the quotes from uh, the author Dostoevsky was that if there is no immortality, in other words, I guess another way of saying that would be if there is no God, if there is right. no supernatural realm, right. then all things are permitted. So I want to know what did, what did he mean by that? And uh, also, I want to make sure that we're all hearing you right, because you're not necessarily saying that atheists and agnostics are incapable of morality. No, not um, at all. But, but there's, there's something to be said there. So what are you suggesting? Yes, th this is extremely important. The claim is not that in order to live a moral life, you have to believe in God. Mm. That's evidently false. Rather, the claim is that if there is no God, then there is no absolute standard for moral values or moral duties, and that therefore um, it's all relative. So what is needed for an objective moral life is not the belief in God, it's God mm. himself as a foundation for these. And that was what Dostoevsky saw in the novel The Brothers Karamazov. This saying is... Um, it expresses the worldview of Ivan Karamazov, the atheistic of the brothers. And Dostoevsky's point in that magnificent novel is to show the unlivability of this point of view. Um, one of the brothers murders their father. And when Ivan protests, his brother said, but you're the one who said that there is no God and therefore nothing matters. And therefore, how can you condemn me for patricide? It's your own worldview that leads to this. And Ivan is unable to live with the logical consequences of his own view and suffers a mental collapse. Mm. And so Dostoevsky just so brilliantly portrays the unlivability of this atheistic, naturalistic worldview, and then contrasts it with the life of the Christian brother uh, Alyosha, who is a Russian Orthodox priest, who experiences suffering, affirms suffering, um, and finds deep meaning in a relationship with God and with Jesus Christ. Mm. Wow.